Despite many challenges, Eastern Cape Education Authorities are seeing an improvement in the pass rate. Authorities say they will continue seeking ways to improve grades across the province after launching an e-learning studio that will help enhance learning, particularly in problematic subjects like maths and science. Our Ronald Masinda was at the launch. The Eastern Cape Education Department says this broadcasting operations centre will provide the best teachers in the province with a platform to share their knowledge with pupils who might be struggling. Education MEC Funde Lagarde says the public school system is already making huge strides when compared to private schools. There is going to be a need of a debate in the country whether you need a private schooling system or not. If in the CEM on test day, the report of the country is indicating that the best mathematics performance is in rural schools than in the private schools. And the best general performance of the schooling system in the country is more rural than being a bear. In essence, even if you look in terms of the performance of the province in Tema, the suspects that can drop the results in this province are private schools, <coughs> not the public schools. <laughs> The department also says that this program is not designed to create fear-mongering among teachers who might be worried about the future if online learning grows. This program is not to replace <coughs> our educators, um, but this program is to enhance, you know, our teaching techniques. We have a responsibility to train our educators. We're having a, a responsibility to make sure we in line with the fourth and fifth industrial revolution. The Eastern Cape Education Department says it will also be able to mitigate any challenges that relate to connectivity and accessibility for schools who are struggling to make use of the e-learning program. Online classes can also be accessed on YouTube and other social media platforms. Ronald Masinda, East London.